Your number one source for shit. It'll be says it'll be cloudy tomorrow. The fortune teller says the spirits are in good humor today. I know they're in good humor. Believe me, I am good humor. Okay. Oh. Eat this. Drink this. It's time to get schmoovin'. Good morning, dear. Another day of farm chores, huh? I'll be thinking of you, heart. Yes. You will be. You can have this. Because I love you. Dear neighbor, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. Rhubar pie. Dear Grimith, I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. I bet you can put it to some good use. Take care. Grimith, I'd like to buy a pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern for the upcoming Spirit Eve Festival. Caroline. You got it. I like posted today. Cool beans! There's work to do today. It's Friday. I think I'm going to Pierre's once more. I don't think I'm going to count out precisely how many seeds or slots I'm missing. Just we're going to grab and go. Okay. That is going to be enough. Uh, but da 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 Doggy? Good doggy. Iron Rick, be with you in a mo. Alright. Let's get these moved. Grab some bok choy. Great. Uh, that's fine. Poke our heads in here. Grab this jade. These kegs will be done soon, TM. Okay. All right, that's fine. I'm tickled that I did that first dive without uh, grabbing any spicy eels, though. I... At the time, I just forgot to bring the rubies and diamonds. I'm pretty sure I said that at the time. Like, oh, I forgot to bring this yet. Just didn't feel like resetting the day over that. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Is this clear back here? It is. Okay. Um, these chests gonna have to be moved. Put you in here for now. Uh, furnaces can go live with this stuff. Uh, you get moved. You can go in here for now. Uh, this will be fine otherwise. I will grab this pumpkin. Let's go sell the produce so that I don't accidentally sell the fucking pumpkin in a bit. Wait, I was going to sell this stuff to Pierre. I'm glad I remembered that. Grab the pumpkin then, 49 of them, you can go live there, you can go grab the... We're going to have a messy, 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 messy inventory. I finally remember to donate that Hellvite. Good for me. Okay. Ah, uh, Fuck, there's a rock. I don't think that's going to be a problem, though. Okay. Uh... No, cause no trouble. You're getting out of the way, too. Give me your wild seed. You're going to have to go be planted somewhere else, damn it. Uh, we'll say... Here. Alright, cool. Have a good one! <laughs> All right. Uh, clay. Only fifty clay. Hmm. Hmm. We know how we solve that. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. 
guys. Hmm. 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 Alright, order of operations. Let's go hit up Robin first. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Robs? Time for you to relocate some buildings using your carpentry magic. Yeah. What do you mean choose a location? Help. Are you just trying to move the coop? What is happening here? You just weren't selecting it properly. It's all your fault. I am blameless. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm moving the house. Oh. Um, yeah. I don't intend to put it there. It's going to block that access point. This feels weird moving this fucking house, by the way. <laughs> this seriously is fucking with me. All right, and there's a little avenue. Just look at this fucking teleporting house. <laughs> Just fucking teleport the house anywhere. Oh, shit. I've obviously done that before with multiplayer cabins. It's just... Or the big house. Move that there. You can move the pet bowl. Right, the mailbox comes along with that. This is going to get moved somewhere, which is also strange. You are going to come over here. That should definitely give me enough room to come out here. I will need to move these chests. Uh, shipping bin. It make this as convenient for me and as inconvenient for your man's mare. The greenhouse is going to be moving over here. There's a plant here. Ooh. Yeah. Right. There's a plant there. I did think this path was too far up for my planning. No. No, it's fine. Like, the, the road there... It's just gonna intersect with that. It's gonna look weird. <laughs> I could always remove it if I want. It's a little tighter than my initial planning. Like, I intended to have some space there, but that still works. It'll look better if I choose a different pathing. That still gives me the, the room to, like, come out of this warp and negotiate my way through here by the looks of things. Yeah, I still have one tile space. I don't need to take the horse back here. But I gotta make sure I'm probably gonna pass this so I don't have any seeds trying to sprout up here and fucking grow into trees. Because heaven help me if I warp to this point and not have my fucking axe. Yeah, okay. Um... This is still pretty tight. Because I have this uh, path up further. I could. It does take more room away from these crops. Because I kind of want to have this be a... I just have this be a crafting zone for me. I obviously want to have room for the horse to get out. And if I'm going to have, like, the chests arrayed, I want to have them arrayed around uh, a quality enough area for me to draw them all in for crafting purposes. Having the shipping bin here just seems different, we'll say, for me. I can move this back some, which I did I did draw out doing. The path can come up here. And then like I have Scarecrow here. And then I can work on farming the rest of this. Because what else am I going to use this space for, right? Like, what, I'm going to tuck something like a shipping bin back here? I don't think I moved this here right now, though, because of... 
I think if I move this, I'm just going to wait to do it until winter. I will lose a couple cranberry spots right now. Shipping bin. We'll, uh... We'll leave it here for now. Feels weird to move that, too, for me. Just... Strange. Strange things are afoot. And this, too. Just a lot of things I'm not used to. Suck that down by one? No, we'll keep that there. And that's a uh, good access still to that. This pathway definitely uh, is going to be getting replaced. Alright, just want to have a look around things. The coop will not be moved yet. So I think I'm going to go down in a 2x2 two two and then draw some path out. And that's when I'm going to be going south. And from here I will go north up to that particular path. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to have like road cut to the right to whatever livestock building is going to have. Whether I might have road come down just through like this grass. What exactly I intend to be doing. But that's a general... You, that's, uh, it's disorienting as fuck for me. <laughs> I'm just going to take an adjustment period. Yeah, just, just going to need some time. <laughs> All right. Cool. That'll do for now. Right. Um, before I commission you... Take a look at your shop for a moment. Workbench. So, when you crafted a workbench, you have access to materials in any adjacent chest. This is not something that existed in 1.0. This is what I'm talking about for like having like a crafting construction area. Particularly the size of the chest that I can lay down now. Just slam shit into them and not even have to pull things out to craft what I want. I can wait on that. Hmm. I really like the stone walkway floor, and I really like the, um, the crystal path floor. Give me both. Alright, cool. Now that I've had you teleport some shit around and it was fucking wild. Fuck the stone. Right. I can buy the stone. I don't have a whole lot of stone at home anyway. We're buying the stone. Oh, shit. It's only 100G. Yeah. <laughs> I had just read that with an extra zero attached. I forgot how fucking cheap these things were. Well, I want you to safeguard and protect these animals. That's cool. Put that there. Again, I'm putting them out of the way so that they don't block my lines of sight. That's annoying. Oh, I got shit to do now. Bye. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Yeah! Which pumpkin do you think it'll take? I think I just hand it to Caroline. I just hand it to Caroline. Cool. Alright. She's for sale. I, you know what? I believe you, sir. I believe you. But listen. Is she in? She must be in her greenhouse. Hey, Caroline. Here's trying to play it cool, but he's seething about losing to you at the Stardew Valley Fair. <laughs> what a loser. Anyway. Oh, the pumpkin. It's a good one. Abigail will be so happy when she sees this. Thanks, Griffith. You're welcome. Have fun with the pumpkin. I got one for you. Did you know that my dad loves fried calamari? He loves it. Okay, bye. Hey, Pierre. Hi there, is your farm still doing well? Maybe a few of my seeds will spruce things up. You got it, buddy. I'm here for your seed.
Oh, phew. We solved any monetary concerns that may have existed. Thank the heavens. I like I like these bok choys. This will do for me. Pumpkins, I'm like, yeah, if I plant them in the, like, the deluxe figro slots, they'll take eight days I can technically slot that in. And any, like, spare ones I can just slap into the greenhouse, but... Bok choy ends up being something I have uh, used for filler quite a bit, and I see no reason why to stop that. BAM! He's like, holy shit! I <laughs> just bought those goods, and then he basically gave me all my money back! Not all of it, but, you know, some amount. An amount that gives us a sub. What's good, my dude? Thank you. He's wanted to work with Iridium, and I've given the man his chance. A true chance. Process these geodes. What the fuck? Rice pudding? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, we could do that with rice. Right. Ah, <laughs> it's creamy, sweet, and fun to eat. <laughs> have no time for rice management. Here you go. So, we're going to be poking our heads into the sewers. Now, today is Friday. We do not have the requisite cash, but we can show off what's going on down there all the same. We can also fish down there too, but I am in... I will not be. We'll put it like that. You can use this access point, so I will. You unlock the sewer hatch with the rusty key. Here's Krobus. A human visitor. This is most unusual. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. Krobus's inventory does shuffle around every Friday. Krobus has an Iridium Sprinkler. Krobus does sell a Star Drop. In no rush. Oh yeah, that's right, you sell Crypto Floor. Shit. Krobus also sells a Return Scepter, which uh, I have purchased before. And it's pretty fucking nice. Just return home at will. Good stuff. What? <laughs> I'm sorry? I mean, you fucking just... You take the dog out back and sprinkle some powder? Uh, 1.6 does allow for getting more pets, I'm pretty sure. And there's... It's not just a variety of... More varieties of pets, but you could also have more than one pet. So, okay. Yeah. But damn. Wizard catalog, by the way. Ooh, yeah, I've never seen this before. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the... I do like this floor as well. So, Star Drop, we'll, we'll get around to it. Yeah, I've been... We're good. We're good. We're good. We'll, we'll spend a little bit. Grease the wheels of commerce. This is a statue where you can... change your skills for 10,000 G. There's some kind of force field blocking your path. Ah, oh, shit, that's right. That's cool. No big deal. And we can come out here through this way. A triple shot espresso is about to fade off, so we won't fly around as fast, but we're still pretty decent at the whole speed thing. You know, we're still not too bad. I'm not going to bother with the, uh, the forage. On the beach. Um, I miss you. Oh, shit. Ah. Right, my my whole chaos planting. With how crops are spaced and perspectives and everything, just still continuing to fuck with my head. That's okay. Shit's getting planted, shit's getting, uh, 
harvested all is well within my kingdom. 1.20 p.m. and we're just now getting to you all. You've been good, I take. You weren't? I wouldn't know. Oh, hey, you're all, you're like pets? I can get pets? Love pets. So I definitely feel like the approval rating for these pets, thanks to the grass, has gone up quicker. I don't know by what scale or amount, but I feel like it's been faster. I choose to believe that it's been faster, and my belief structure is what matters. I need some justification for why the fuck I have lost all of this... All these tiles to farm, man. Did I ditch my horse somewhere? I did, up at the top, because of planting. I didn't ditch him. There was work to be done. Two days. Ah, oh, three days for that. I had the timing on this better. Good in here? You're wonderful. Great. We have some stuff ready in here. It's all, it's all gravy. It's all gravy. Okay. didn't need as many copper bars as what I was concerned I would need, and that's a good thing. Uh, that's right, raccoon. Yes, yes, raccoon. I guess I'm selling those eggs, by the way. Now the shipping bin is further away from me, though, of course, they could have unlimited shipping potential. Hey, Hale. You, you good with the house where it is now? You good? Babe? She's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Haley? <laughs> Hales? Hi? She's gone. Alright, great. Positively fucking delightful. Pick up the 17 of those I have down on the ground for now. Put them in here. We're not making any more of those this year. Oak resin and wood will get us five more kegs. We're out of copper again. So it goes. Five more kegs for the industries. Industry! Cool. Hmm. Well, how's my stone supply looking? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I have more gold ore than I do stone. Yes. Yeah, we really burn through it, these various constructions, huh? All right, so stone floor, out of the question for now. My, uh, my quartz is only at nine refined. I'm going to need a lot more coal to refine all this. So my other flooring... Out of the question at this time. All right. That's all good. No concerns. It will get done. Just really come together for me here. I'm digging it. I think I'm going to start uh, saving crystal fruit that I find to prepare some wild seeds for winter. You're like, oh no, Griffith, you're about to slow down. Shit, fuck. How will you function? And I'm like, you're right. You're right. I, I don't argue. You're right. Here's what's going to happen. I'm about to take this. I'm about to put it in my mouth. Come on! <laughs> I'll keep the axe with me. All right. 
Oh, when the saints go march again. Just really, really chipper and cheerful. Tons of quartz. Alright. Sure. Need a coal per that's 150 at year one prices. Like how I spent my time with that. Iridium pickaxe. Woof. We blazing now. <laughs> We're here to collect some stone. <laughs> hmm. Now these little adorable bastards. For me to crush. Well, shit happens. That, that nearly looked like a rock there. I was like, I was pretty sure a slime was over here. We have a lot of energy now, too. Well. Thank you. I was like, here I go partying in these damn places. I should have just taken the fucking elevator out. Get out of my face. There's more of you. I'm here for your soul. <laughs> I must protect the valley. 500 of you total must perish. <laughs> oh, we're good. We cause no trouble. You lie. You, you wish violence and harm upon me. We're just defending our home. Why? Why do you do this thing? They say the words to me. <laughs> and like the, the Korra. <laughs> or the Zerza. I'm like, no, the words, the ritual words have been spoken. And yes, before you start typing, I know that Paul Ford and Fred Reich have gotten their Kickstarter all gangbusters. The rights that they secured for themselves for a true sequel to the Urquan Masters. A settlement with Stardock a number of years back. In which Beehive Honey was involved. Like some legal agreement with Brad Wardell, which you can read on the Wayback Machine. Like accessing their old, uh... The old, uh... Blog posts that, uh, Paul and Fred made. You can read about the story involving all that stuff. But yeah, their Kickstarter went out and within three hours absolutely just skull fucked their initial goal. That game is getting made, and with Toys for Bob, uh, their older company, they do have a proven track record of releasing games. So I would I would I would I would say it's a fair bet that, that one will get filled. I'm not like Super investor energized, but doubtlessly I'll I'll take a look at the game when it's uh released. I'm not one for investing in Kickstarters, so we'll see where the road takes us on that front. No ectoplasm, you bastard! For the reason why I'm down here, I know there's a topaz over there, and I just I'm busy. There are other concerns. <laughs> Coffee bean? Hmm. I had four of those. I could plant those in the, uh, the greenhouse, and I have before. For more coffee beans to make coffee. Ruby. That was not anything that I required. Oh, well. Ruby? That's not bad. Some more spicy. I really, uh, really tease myself there. I've been waiting so long to trade in and the rubies I'd accumulated. Part of, uh, part of the migraines, part of the medication, part of the time of day I play these <laughs> fucking things. So it goes. 
And part, you know, the chaos. All right, that's four. Now require one. Four I just turned in. All right, we didn't find a ghost that would give us the ectoplasm. You could be the one. I couldn't say what their drop rate is for this. I do have a slight chance of rolling double, so that is nice. Of course, these ghosts are just like, what an obnoxious enemy to hunt down, right? Just doing everything they can to be a super pain in the ass. Oh, no. I go flying backwards now. Bye. I shouldn't talk too much, though. There have been a number of uh, incidents in my household over the over this year. Inexplicable things. Just uh, keep on keeping on. No questions. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'll have a peek. Peek acquired. That's close to the closing time here for us. Holy shit! <laughs> I might I might drop unconscious for this. Come here, you little shits! <laughs> oh, there's a ghost there too, it could be the one! Am I willing to fucking be jerked around for it potentially being the one? I was willing to fall unconscious for the dust sprites. I was not willing to fall unconscious for the fucking ghost. Watch, I would have fallen unconscious there in the mines, and then what would have fucking happened is that the item that I would have lost would have been the fucking ectoblast. <laughs> like, son of a bitch! This is why we cannot ever have nice things. Ugh. Well, anyway. That scarecrow will not be there after this season. Go to bed. We sold a few things, not to Pierre. Go to bed. All right. Cool stuff. But there's more work to be done. In the name of Corporate Grimace here.